basketball here on 2K Sports. Game two, we're bringing it to you live. Brian Anderson here with me, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. Joining us courtside is Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, Brian. CJ McCollum is looking to evolve his game. He said, quote, I can get out of bed and get 20. Now I need to score efficiently, make my teammates better, and impact the game in every facet. You get older, the maturity level shifts, and you understand what needs to be done. Guys? Well, looking to show how he can impact winning, Allie. Thanks for that. Taking a look at New Orleans. Now the starting group for the visitors. And it's G in at the two spot. And for New Orleans, in at forward, it's Ingram and Williamson. Devontae Graham out there with C.J. McCollum. And it's Valanchunas in at the five. So the Pelicans win the tip. McCollum with it. Ingram on the wing. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pelicans will retain possession here. And as it goes out of bounds, New Orleans will keep possession. and finds Valanchunas. Outside Graham. Shot clock at six. From outside the arc. And Mr. Perfect pulls it down. From downtown. First shot won't go. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. McCullum outside. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Can't sleep on McCullum. Not even for a second. Because that's when he strikes. Shoots. Mr. Perfect shot is off. And here are the Pelicans now. McCullum outside. Here's the three. And the shot's off. One for two in this one. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks for rain. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. Here's Mr. Perfect, and it's good from the elbow. And they can breathe a little easier on their fourth shot. They finally hit the target. McCullum outside. Pass to Graham. Outside Ingram. Doesn't go, and he's 0 for 1 from the floor. Las Vegas has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Here's Mr. Clutch. Here's G. Pass to Mr. Clutch. And the ball out of play. The Pelicans will have it. The Pelicans have gone one of four to begin this one. McCullum outside. Takes a 13-footer. Valanchunas. And the dunk by Valanchunas. The combo guard skills of McCullum. Not just a score, he's also a more than capable passer. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Pelicans. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Solid shot from a distance of about 14 feet. McCollum's got his second bucket of the game. And oftentimes, you just assume McCollum's J is going in. He's this good of a shooter. It's incredible. Here's T. Graham covering. 
The chosen one shot is good. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. Just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Ingram. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. The length of Ingram poses issues for defenders, which is why he gets fouled a lot. At the line for New Orleans, Brandon Ingram. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Some changes for New Orleans. Nance, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Jones comes in for Graham. And Alvarado's subbed in for McCollum. So hits one and misses one at the line. For Las Vegas, they've gone two of six to open up this game. Pass to Mr. Perfect. Here's baddest one. Offline with a three. New Orleans in the lead. Outside Jones. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Got it in close, and unless it's an open three, that's the key to efficient offense. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's baddest one. No good on the triple. This is hard to watch. You might want to put the kids to bed. This man still has not hit a shot this quarter. Jones finds Williamson. Shot from the low post is good. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flowing rhythm to their offense. Pass to G. The baseline J. Alvarado with a rebound. For New Orleans, they've gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. Banked it in off the glass. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Here's baddest one. Ooh, they can't stop the run with that one. Now here's Ingram, guarded closely. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. The officials were right on top of that one. Free throw, good from Ingram. No good on the second free throw. One second left. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans ending the quarter up 10. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. We'll be right back after this word. as game two is getting underway. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Pelicans. Zion and Valanciunas playing up front. Then it's Herb Jones, and it's Murphy in at the three. That's the Pelicans' five. G's shot is good. I know what they say, defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. Williamson outside. And the shot's off. One for two in this one. Well, Las Vegas is shooting a rough 25% from the field in this game. Pass to G. Here's baddest one. Here's Mr. Perfect. Puts up a three. He can't get it to go. 
And we're now about a minute into this second quarter of play. Jones with the ball. Knocks it loose. Clock at six. Here's G. Doesn't go that time. So the Pelicans will take it the other way. Pass to Alvarado. Somehow scores the layup in traffic. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Jones' shot is good. Jones has gotten his second bucket on the night. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. Pass to G. Ooh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Two shots. First one falls for him. good from the line that time. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. Williamson outside. Here's Alvarado. Misses the deep three-point attempt. The Warriors have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Oh, yeah. Yeah do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. The Pelicans shooting great. 62% from the field and continuing to get it done. Williamson outside. The shot misses. The Warriors have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Baddest one, no good. You cannot play worse offensively, although he's trying. And he hasn't made one shot yet. I feel for him. Pass to Jones. Tipped away. Let's it fly. And too long on the shot. Well, the defense didn't have any impact on that shot, but somehow he still misses it. And it's in there. And now it's just a four-point New Orleans lead. He was inside his own head in that first quarter. You could see it. Now he's doing a much better job of letting the game come to him. Pass to Alvarado. Valanchuna sets a screen. Deflected! Here's the chosen one. Mr. Perfect gets the three ball to go. He's got seven. He's had a rough start to this game, and that's being nice. But he's gotten back on track here in the second. New Orleans calls timeout. And it's a completely new group for the Pelicans. Two left in the first half. Ingram finds Graham. McCullum outside. Hayes, the pass to McCullum. Just four to shoot. Hayes with a screen. And the Pelicans miss again. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Here's Baddest one. Ooh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three.
Vance picks one up. <laughs> hey, nice work attracting the foul from deep. He'll shoot three. Three shots. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. That one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. And he nails the third. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Hayes with a screen. Ingram, the pass to Hayes. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Pelicans, Jackson Hayes. Two shots. Shooting two. He makes the first. And he makes the first, but misses the second. The Warriors have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Even with a big goose egg by his name on the shot chart, the team is somehow managing just fine without it. Now McCollum. Solid shot from a distance of about 14 feet. McCollum's got six. Not only a perimeter player, McCollum can go inside. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. The Pelicans on top, leading by a point. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Greetings one and all. The postseason drama we love and no disappointment here as it's a close game so far for the New Orleans Pelicans. The bench is one of the strengths of this team. With some big time scoring power, they've carried the extra load offensively. And that's an advantage not every team has. Looking at the scenario for the New Orleans Pelicans, they're trying to even the series at one apiece. Kenny, how critical is this win for them? You might say it's still early, but you don't want to drop two in a row on your home court now. I agree. They've already lost home court advantage. I don't want to dig that hole any deeper. And that would be deep, just like your analysis is from time to time, guys. Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. Thank you for joining 2K Sports and our coverage of this first round. McCollum's gone three for five shooting from the floor. Kick it off the second half. Here's Steve Kerr's five. And it's Mr. Perfect in at the three, the small forward. Six on the shot clock. Kept alive. Over to the wing. Here's Mr. Clutch. Misses the three. New Orleans in the lead. Ingram, pass to Williamson. Away team, number zero, zero. Third personal foul. First team foul. It's stolen. They've got to tighten up the ball control. 
That pass was just too easy to defend. Baddest one, no good. That's not how you want to come out of the break. Three straight misses. They need to settle in quick. Williamson passes to McCollum. Outside Graham. Five to shoot. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Valanciunas can't get it to go. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. Pass to Graham. the drive no good from 11 feet for Las Vegas they've gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half here's G that's it fly Zion Williamson grabs the miss Williamson's got a six rebound on the night up top Alan Chunas pass to McCullum Valanchuna sets a screen. And again, no good by New Orleans. Las Vegas has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Baddest one, no good. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. Shots good by McCollum. McCollum's got eight. <laughs> what a tricky shot. CJ, he's showing off now. to Mr. Perfect with a three. McCollum pulls it in. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Now here's Ingram. Two minutes remaining in this area. Two minutes. Baddest one with the rebound. 151 left in the third quarter. Pass to Mr. Perfect. Shot from the wing. Rebounded by New Orleans. Alan Tunis has got five rebounds in the game. McCullum outside. Shoots from 12. And his fifth basket. Now five for eight. Looking comfortable out there. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Pass to G. Takes a three. Pelicans cleared away. Williamson outside. McCullum outside. Valanchuna sets a screen. McCullum shot is off. The Warriors shooting 27% in today's game. Not good. Here's Mr. Clutch. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Oh, what a fast break for the Pelicans. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. More of a traditional center, Jonas Valanciunas can dominate the glass and capable of a double-double on any given night. And he can't get the first one. And a new group getting ready for the Pelicans. Hayes is checked in for Zion Williamson. Murphy comes in for Brandon Ingram. Jones, he's checked in for Graham. And Alvarado's subbed in for C.J. McCollum. And he's good on the second. The visitors with the ball. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Baddest one, no good. For New Orleans, they've gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Pass to Valentunas. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Alvarado. Back to Hayes. Oh, he couldn't stay in bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. The visitors with the ball. Trailing by four. Here's baddest one. They get it back. The chosen one. Oh, and he hits it at the buzzer. 
done. He didn't even look worried about the time on the clock. Nice Three way four. to end a quarter. Three quarters of play and a close one here. Pelicans ahead, leading by just two. And don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. Steve Kerr with some words for his players. Ball's got to move, all right? Let's just start driving and kicking and moving it on, all right? Let's settle in. Make it easy, simple. Boy, the offense does not look very fluid to Coach Kerr right now. Yeah, just not enough movement. When the ball is zipping around, this team is part of the goal. Great to have you with us again as we return to our coverage of round one. Jackson Hayes is out there with Larry Nance. Then it's Herb Jones, and it's Alvarado in at the point. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Here's Mr. Perfect. And it's the chosen one missing. Here's Murphy. And he lobs it up top. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Here's Mr. Perfect. Here's the chosen one, and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Jackson Hayes. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. Two for the OL team, number 34. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. New Orleans making some changes. Brandon Ingram is checked in for Jones. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Alvarado. And the second free throw is good. Here's McCollum. Pass to Hayes. And here's McCollum. And Mr. Perfect pulls it down. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. And he's going for the oop here. Throw it down on the lob. Neither team able to take a hold of this game. Yeah, it's been a tight one. Numerous lead changes, very competitive. Pass to Murphy. Back to Hayes. Now here's McCollum. Leader from distance. He's off on that one. I understand why he pulled up for the leaner right there. But the defense adjusted to that very well. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. <laughs> and McCullum isn't afraid of contact, especially when he's being aggressive and looking to score. The first free throw is good. A late bloomer. CJ McCollum's career has been fun to watch unfold, and I'm sure inspired lots of hoopers out there. And McCollum drops them both. The visitors with the ball. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. Pass to G. There's the three. The offensive rebound. And Williamson with the block. Using that athleticism on defense. Love watching Zion get up and deny shooters. He may not have that traditional power forward ball, but his balance, well, that kind of love is the playing field. Here's Mr. Clutch. Pass to G. And Devontae Graham is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there.
Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. From about 16. Gee, no good. The Pelicans have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Outside Ingram. Valanchunas sets a screen. The shot by Ingram, no good. Las Vegas has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. New Orleans calls timeout. from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Hey guys, well, Willie Green had some advice for the team over that last break. This is anyone's game. So he told them, stay aggressive, stay hungry. We can't afford to let up on the energy out there. He's hoping they'll finish with the flurry. Guys? Okay, thanks, Allie. Tunis. Back to Ingram. Steps back and shoots. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Yeah, part of becoming a star for Ingram is performing at the line in these moments. Drops the first one, and that'll put him up two. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a three-point game. See, it's easy to see why his teammates trust him. He's a leader on this team and loves coming up huge in the clutch. Baddest one with the bucket. I-C-E. Ice. He has absolute ice in his veins. This guy, he lives for these moments. Now here's McCollum. Pass to Ingram. Just five on the clock. And again, New Orleans, no good for Las Vegas. They've gotten just three of nine shots to go in, struggling this fourth quarter. Oh, blocked by Ingram! McCullum outside. A minute six left in the fourth quarter. Rebound by Mr. Clutch. Las Vegas has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Mattis one. Here's Mr. Perfect to take the lead. Oh, he knocked down the trifecta. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Now here's McCullum. Graham for three. Cranes the triple. And they retake the lead with a bounce back three. All right, guys, what's your take? And it would be smart to go for a two for one right now. Two seconds left in the game. To the inside. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. Oh, I see. Picking the worst time to lose control. This is why patience is the key in big moments, people. And here are the Pelicans now. They've led by as much as 10. Oh, 
First free throw is good, and that'll put him up two. And so he drops them both, and it's a three-point game. Question is, now can they protect the three-point lead he's given them? Baddest one. McCullum defends. Here's the chosen one. To the wing on the left. Here's Baddest one. And it's in. Oh, what a sensational bucket. That brings it within one. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. first and that'll put him up too yeah with McCollum at the line the defense should be sweating he doesn't waste many free throws so he gets them both and it's a three-point game nine seconds left in the final quarter it's all about getting a three right here we'll see what they draw a three-pointer is a must and they're gonna prolong the game with an intentional foul 15. He gets the first, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And the line is somewhere Zion spends a lot of time. So unless the stakes are thrown off, he can do this. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. Calm and cool, and his free throw put a bow on this one. Nice way to finish the game. And so the Pelicans take the win. And really, any win is a big win here in the postseason. Yeah, every game counts now, and there's no second chances. So they must be pleased with the results. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Zion, this is a team with some outstanding young players with complementary skills. How do you see yourself fitting in? I think I fit in very well. Uh, I think I'm a very versatile player. You can throw me out there with any group, and I'm going to put up, do something to contribute. Um, and I think we're a very unselfish team, so that plays a big part to it. And any group would be happy to have you. Thanks, Zion. Allie, thank you as always. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us for the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. Now our new balance player of the game, Zion Williamson.
I got a 